Grace again. So today I'm going to share with you how to choose laptop specifications. You know what? Nowadays, laptop is very in demand in the market because students and other workers ought to study and work from home because of this COVID-19 happened all over the world, right? I'm pretty sure a lot of people might have hesitation what and which laptop should I buy? You know, I also experienced this last week when I bought a computer for my daughter and it is hard for me to choose because I need to consider my budget as well. So now I just want to impart to my little knowledge about choosing a laptop specification. So first we need to consider the CPU or the processor of the laptop because this is the laptop's brain, right? So Intel Core processor offers the best performance when it comes to multitasking and multimedia tasks. So these cores, um, you can see these cores uh, such as the uh, Core i3, i5, i7, i9. So for the Core i3, this is good for the entry level only or for the basic use only. For the Core i5, this is good for good processor for the mainstream user and who cares about the, the speed, the performance, and the graphics. Okay. For the Core i7, this is the great performance processor for the high-end users. And of course, for the Core i9, we are going to expect the very best processor since this is the highest number. Note, the highest the number, the highest the price. Okay. And the second one is the RAM, the random access memory, and it allows you to run the application or more applications simultaneously, and it is quickly accessible for all tasks such as video editing, photo editing, or the video content. So these are the 4, 5, 16, and so on gigabytes. So for the 4 gigabytes, this is good for the basic user. For this 8 gigabytes, this is for um, minimum, actually. For the 16 gigabytes, this is good for the power users. For this 32 and above, this if you want to have a best experience. And by the way, the recent RAM hardware as of now is the DDR4, stands for Total Data Rate 4th Generation. And the DDR5 will be expected in 2020. No, 2021. The third one is the storage. Before, HD is good. However, it is kind of slow and it produces heat and noise of your laptop so nowadays the hd or the hard drive is almost out of favor ssd or the solid state drive is the best choice for the storage because it offers a lot more speed than the hd and runs smoothly fourth one is the battery just look at the figures of what hours the or the million hours the higher the figures are, the longer the battery can last. The last one for me is the size and the color of the laptop. So it's up to you what is the size of the screen and the size of the or the inches of the specific laptop. So <clears throat> note that the smaller inches of the laptop, the lower specifications of it. So for the brand, um, for me, I always check the specifications first okay so it's up to you what and which do you prefer to buy the, a laptop that suit your needs all right that said so I hope this information helps you decide what and which laptop should you buy so again this is Grace I explore learn teach enjoy then share do not forget to subscribe okay hit the button below and the bell as well